Journal, Potter's Journal, July, um, no, August 2020. I have got a slip trailing decoration for you today. Here we go. There are so many pottery tricks we can do. And Broken Arrow was just um, mastering the trick of these swirly mugs, something that Apparently, if you can convince somebody you can do, or if uh, you have the right marketing skills behind you, you can convince people that you can make it's a $163 mug. And okay. Or, which end seems to be a rather new trick. I don't know that it's got millennia behind it like the faceting thing something that I've never done or tried and I think I'd like to um, and bring that into this jug series and this is part of my 100 and, yeah 100 jug series this will be um, one of these guys with a spout and a couple handles. Try to do that next week. I don't remember. Um, I think this um, decorating technique, we'll call it, as opposed to trick, although we could call it either one, maybe. I don't remember how this developed. I think it developed slowly, just from um, the simple wavy pattern. So. I'm putting uh, first the white slip on here, brushing that on. And I'm getting an even band, even though we are going to uneven it with the swipes. And then get all the air out of here. And fill that up and then it's just a matter of getting the wheel spinning and putting it actually right up against there and okay squirting it out and then the swipe and the thing about the swipe is it goes through the slips and exposes the clay body and then it also picks up the black slip on the rib and that outlines the swipe and then I can also bring the swipes down below where there's any slip and leave a bit of this behind and bring that you know, design down low even in there. I'll do the smaller ones a bit closer up. This is going to be Okay, something I did in when I did the French jug series, a conscience jug. And I described, yeah, some of the history behind that. Okay, and this one will be. Okay, a Tiho when it's finished. And I'm going to keep the design um, this low because I'll be putting the spouts and the handle on top. Um, some of this will be covered by spout and handle, but um, I don't want too much of that. Because it can smear it. But, um, I've done the spouts over the white slip before and you just have to be careful how you do it. Okay, and since I haven't done this for years, I notice that if I push this in when I do the swipes, the um, bands still show, so I don't really want to push this into the clay. I want to actually hold it just slightly above as this spins round. Okay. Because on the one, when I did the swipes, the bands were pushed into the clay and it's still, um, the bands still shown. Okay. 
So, is what we're doing a trick or is it a technique? Is one more respected or better than the other? I'm not, uh, okay, gonna po um, put out uh, my thoughts there, but leave it up to you in the comments. Thank you to everybody who's made the comments lively. Um, and um, thank you, Carol from Hawaii, for noticing, yeah, I did pass 400 subscribers. Um, I am almost out of clay. My shows have been canceled this year, so I am not looking to buy any in. I have only got about um, one 200 pounds of the hazelnut 211 from Standard. I like it because of the dark, rich color, you know, I get in the oxidation kiln, um, as opposed to the um, other lighter, lighter body ones. But um, I have been picking up some lighter body ones. These are both with a white slip. Um, I picked up some, and I'm going to, this is what I want to start using up. This is what I used today, Standard's 306 Brown Firing Clay. Um, picked that up thinking that it was Simon Leach's clay, and I'd try that. It wasn't. I think he uses 153, so I got um, a box of that. These need to be used up. They both go um, fire from cone 6 to 10. Um, I fire at cone 6, and uh, that's another reason why I like the hazelnut, because um, we're taking it to the top of its range. I also have, um, let's see, um, some of their, what's back here, 266 Dark Brown. It's actually a black clay body. Um, and it's a bit too much, I've decided. It does nice things with the glazes, but a bit too much, a bit over the top, I think. Um, just like some foods, wow, this is really spectacular, but um, it's not the kind of thing you want to eat every day. And decided to use it as a slip. Now here I put it on the dark body, but um, since these are a light body, I'm going to use it with that, and I think that's going to work out well. Um, okay, yeah, I mixed it up as a slip. So, um, And that's what, okay, reading card do with, uh, and, and, um, other potters who, who dig their own clay have had to do when they don't have or get a clay that's really good or suitable um, often would cover it uh, with slips that would um, yeah make it do the things they liked um, I um, let's see what's back here I do you know what I do have a few boxes of redware that's something I would like to try again I'm not in a hurry to use up because these I don't think I'm going to use them but uh, if I ever have some access to a wood kiln or a salt kiln um, I may put a few pieces of side so they could go in there and they need cleaned up because I found this in the back corners of the studio back hidden under some shelves this must be from 92 um, and um, uh, when it freezes okay look it, it comes out all chipped when it dries it was I don't know how but um, there's about 300 pounds of this to be reclaimed so okay let's decorate a few more of these pots here is a little closer look on some smaller pieces this one will be a pitcher I'll put a spout on it after it stiffens up just a little bit Load this up and okay, and this is just too fun. Um, sometimes I don't mind when it pushes in the side a little bit. I'm um, going to leave this one just the way it is. Okay, so a pitcher, this one will be a batijo with spouts and a handle. Um, and I am going to, okay, the spout's about there. I'm going to keep this kind of low, so the spout will cover it a little bit. Um, but most of the decorating will be on the side. Put this bucket right in front of the light. Okay. 
Okay, it is like magic. This is just too fun. Oh, okay, here's something I hadn't thought of. I've always done this with open forms. Okay, how do we get inside to push that out and make it round again? Okay, well that is something to think about for next time. I'm not sure but, uh, if it's going to work, but um, we'll see how it looks and if we keep it. Okay, and the next one... This was uh, part of my French Jug series last winter where I did the, let's see, what was this called? I don't know that it had a name. I called it the Donkey Jug. So if you find that video of mine, um, we'll make one of those in the video. Okay, the white slip. Load the brush up. air out of here and now fill it up okay so the, yeah it's the white clay body or light clay body and a white slip okay and this time I am going to be careful not to push in too much because I don't want to deform the bottle. And I did this rather high. Now I'll pull some of that brown black slip off of the rib down low. But I kept this one kind of high because I didn't like the early part of the trail on there. Okay, and this one will be another style of pitcher with three handles and a spout. So you'll have to stop back next week and I will put these together. Okay, and I like when it finishes with a tail. Now we may lose that when we do the swipes. But, um, sometime because of the random randomness of it, it stays around. And this time we can get inside push it back out and round out anything that's been deformed. Okay, this is very thick. The slip trailing on there, so we'll find out how that makes it through the firing and the glazing. Okay, I am happy now because I did not think I was going to get into the studio this week. And I think uh, Janice the Potter is suffering from that too. So check out her channel. Give her some encouragement to make some pots again. And um, I did find, okay, a couple pieces from the past. And the reason they're still here is because the lids don't fit. So it, this almost falls through there. You don't want that to happen. This last one I made is, yeah, perfect fit. But you don't want that to happen. This was redware with a white slip and a yellow trail. Except I don't, it doesn't look that yellow to me on the trail part. And the swipes don't quite accent the um, banded slip the way I think it will on these because of using the black slip. So... I think that'll show it off better when we get these glazed. And I will get to work now. Okay, and this is the one where I pushed into the side with the slip trailer thing. I, I don't care for that. So it has to be 
laid on there lightly just barely touching and there's a bit of randomness to it so you don't always get what you want but um, here's one that I do like okay so stop back and we will get handles and spouts on these things and maybe I'll make some bigger ones next week